That's right. He's the best player in the world right now. He's won two Grand Slams so far this year, but he's far from the richest. In fact, I caught up with Novak Djokovic not too long ago, and I asked him about profiting from his performance. It's, it's part of part of the success, and of course, I'm looking to capitalize. It's it's normal, you know. In the end, if you are winning, <laughs> you are getting more attention, and you are getting more deals. If you're not, then you're not. Forbes estimates that Roger Federer makes $47 million a year in prize money and endorsements from Nike, Credit Suisse and Rolex. Rafael Nadal, meantime, makes $31.5 million yearly from his nine deals, including Nike and Armani. Now, Djokovic has just five deals, including racket maker Head, for whom he's an enthusiastic endorser, dressing up as Maria Sharapova at a recent event. Djokovic cited that his country, Serbia, might put him at a disadvantage when it comes to endorsements compared to richer countries like Switzerland, the U.S. and the U.K. And I'm coming from a smaller country, which is a smaller market than the American market or English market, so it's kind of logical to expect. My primary concern is, is what I do on the court and is to win as many Grand Slams as possible. And the money, he says, will come. Michelle Steele, USTA National Tennis Center, Bloomberg.